Greetings, friends, family, and fellow internet goers. It's been a long time. So, on behalf of all us Olsen sisters, I would like to extend our deepest and sincerest apologies for being derps. Essentially what happened was, I never got a chance to post my on-location video because of weather and scheduling issues and things like that, and then Amy got sick so she never got a chance to post her next prompt video, which meant that no one posted a video that week and it just never picked back up. So, I'm taking the initiative here, and I am starting this back up. <laughs> which means I am in control right now. So, first things first is to address what Amy's prompt was, which was to list our top ten favorite songs of the moment, right now. So, without further ado, I shall lay my list before you. Now, keep in mind that it was really, really hard for me to choose what my ten favorite songs of the moment were, because I don't really have a lot of favorite songs. I have a lot of favorite, like, albums or artists that I listen to. So this is a list that has probably what, like, the songs that I listen to the most often off of the favorite albums of the favorite artists of the moment. And there are a bunch of other people that I listen to probably just as much, just it kind of goes in cycles. So this is, like, the name suggests of this moment right now. So, first, look at my nifty list, uh, Geraldine by the Avid Brothers off of their album The Carpenter. Geraldine's the name that comes to mind when I go back to reminiscing. Number two. Now, these are in no particular order. This is just when I was scrolling through my Windows Media Player at all of my songs. This is the order that they popped up in, for the most part. So, anyway, number two. Killer Jewels by the Freelance Whales, which is off their album uh, Weather Veins. And they actually just released a brand new album called The Deluvia, and it is awesome, and you should all go listen to it, because they're great. And also, if you're a Starkid fan, um, Darren Chris's older brother is in the band, so, you know, that's pretty cool. Anyway, number three, Feel the Light by The Green Children. like to be impartial, but without a doubt, the Green Children are my all-time favorite because they're just awesome people and they're super talented and they're all like spiritual and ethereal and into nature and they're, they're just wonderful people. And so their new album is not out yet, but they released three new songs as like a little teaser and this is one of them and I love it. So if you don't know anything about the Green Children, go and look them up because they're awesome people. Like they're just, they're, they're awesome. So, they retweeted me once on Twitter, and I was, like, freaking out for days. I'm still freaking out about it, even though it was, like, a year ago. Anyway, back to my list. Okay. Number four. On Top of the World by Imagine Dragons. Number five, Who's Thinking About You Now by Jason Raz. Who will be the one to listen when it's time to listen? Who will be the one to miss it when you go miss it? And will I do? Do I qualify? 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 Okay, If I Walk Away by Josh Groban. <laughs> Love him. If I walk away, please follow me. Drifting through 
through stars I got faithless woke in the dark and I made uh, number seven good intent by Kimbra you know you shouldn't be there but it's way past there there's nobody in the fingers of your Number eight, Stubborn Love by the Lumineers. Number nine, Broken Crown by Mumford and Sons. And number 10, Dirty Paws by Of Monsters and Men. So, that's my list for now. I also listen to a lot of Nightwish and uh, like people like Lorena McKinnon. I'm really, really in love with Phantom of the Opera right now. Like so in love with it. You have no idea. Um, you know, S.J. Tucker, The Shins, Iron and Wine, all those hipster bands, because I'm a hipster. See my hipster glasses? They're not actually hipster, because they're Vera Wang. That makes me fashion forward and mainstream, so meh. People who call me hipster. Melissa Rue, talking to you. So, yep, so that's that's my list of songs. Um, now, I would like to propose a new prompt and a challenge to Amy and Amanda. So, seeing it's my turn to choose, my theme for next week will be to, in the style of Disney Bound, which is a blog on Tumblr, which you should go look up because it's amazing. So, in the Disney Bound style, to create fashion for, based on your favorite movie, TV, book character. And you have to do everything, like clothes, hair, makeup, all of that has to be pertinent to your character. And it can't be a literal interpretation. It has to be things that are inspired by that character and not necessarily like exactly what that character looks like. Okay? It's gonna be fun! And yeah, so that's really it. Life is Life has been busy, which is why we haven't had a lot of videos posted lately, but hopefully I at least, my schedule's starting to clear up now that the semester's gotten over midterms and stuff. I'm sure that by the time finals come around I'll be wanting to kill myself again, because that's what interior design makes you want to do. You love it and you hate it. We had a project last week that involved X-Acto knives, and we all literally wanted to see how hard we had to cut ourselves in order to get an extension for the project. It got that bad. Not literally. We're not really suicidal, we just pretend, because we're close. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, um, oh yeah, my roommate Abby has decided that this room situation has not worked out for her, so she's moved out. We're supposed to be getting a new roommate sometime soon, which is, who's, uh, she lives down the hall right now, she's a friend of my other roommate Morgan's, so we'll see how that goes. Right now, my bed is all pushed up against a different wall, and all by its lonesome, so I've got a lot of extra space. But that's not going to stay that way. I think we're actually going to end up moving my bed that way up against the other wall and putting, like, lofting it and putting my desk and my dresser underneath so I'm going to have my own little nook. So if that happens, then next time I make a video, you'll see me in a different position, which will be super fun. Yeah, other than that, things have been pretty chill. I've been sitting here with my handmade Moria mug, watching Grimm and Supernatural and all these wonderful things and kind of pretending to sort of do homework. You know, I mean, Saturday night, all of my friends are either at home or with their boyfriends, so, or they're out, like, my, my roommates are, like, out doing things because they're normal college students. I'm, yeah. Oh well, this is fun for me. It's French vanilla cappuccino, which I have discovered, tastes exactly like the ones you can get at Cumberland Farms, which I love. So yeah, my happiness. Also, I have a fly friend. It's not a friend. I lied. Fly enemy who keeps buzzing around all of my stuff. 
and in my ears and everywhere. But every time I come close to getting him, he just whew, flies away. Or like, I'll hit him. I hit him with a magazine the other day. And you know what he did? He flew away. He was fine. Whoops. I guess apparently evolution's made like armored flies. I want to kill him so bad. Most of that's just the stress and anxiety of being an interior design, which, don't get me wrong, I love it, and I would not do anything else, but it really tests your limits. <laughs> okay, so, that's all I have for right now. I'm gonna post my- I'm gonna start working on my video now, because I'm an overachiever. But I'm gonna post next Friday, on the day I'm supposed to be posting, and I'll see you guys then. Good luck! Oh, almost forgot the challenge part. So, because I'm the one who's, you know, being all awesome and restarting these videos, I'm going to issue you two a punishment for not taking the same initiative here. So, for the next video you have to do, you'll have to do both Amy's prompt and mine within the same 10 minute video. Good luck.